local variables in Insight and Insight Lite. Um, for example, um, looking at it, two sets of reaction times, and I want to look at the perhaps the difference or the percentage change in those. I can create those new variables in Insight as follows. Um, so from the variables menu, um, there's a create new variables option. And um, I might do differences first. And in this case, using the variable names after space and then a minus negative and before. Um, it shouldn't, isn't critical about the spaces, um, but it's a little bit more readable with space there. And so submit and um, doesn't bat an eyelid and creates these. I always advocate checking um, one or two of them manually, so 1.43 minus 1.4 does indeed give 0 0.03, and it looks like that's all gone fine. Um, a percentage change, for example, so something a little bit more complex. Uh, percent change after divided by before minus one, and click go, and um, this increasing 0 0.03 is a roughly 2% um, increase on the, the 1.4 and I won't I won't verify those but um, looks about about correct an insight light um, it's slightly different interface so let's bring the file in um, I'll find that um, that data and upload it's showing me the first five observations here. And um, in the manipulate variables uh, menu is the create variables option. Mm. This is quite different in that there's a um, there's a drop down box here which includes the variables I have in my data set. Um, after in the operator, um, I select that. Let me just zoom that out a bit. You can see down here. Um, variable name is the expression to be evaluated and um, by selecting the minus there, if I change it to plus, um, it's creating problems and now I need to delete the plus. So after minus and then I come to the drop down menu again and then choose before and it puts that in. So quite a different interface in that I can't type um, but difference is the variable name and create variable um, and let's have a look at the data set and I think in the file menu display the data set and it's created those differences and there's that 0 0.03, 1.43 minus 1.4. The second calculation, uh, so let's try that one. Um, in this case, after and then division and then choose before and then subtract one, so minus and using the um, numeric keypad there, select the one, and I've got after divided by before minus one. So the only real difference is, is that I'm using the mouse to, um, or the cursor to select these different elements, create the variable, and then let me look. And um, there's the 2% figure that I commented on before. Sometimes this doesn't work nicely um, and it could be because we've got complex variable names in Insight um, and so using that you know typing that expression uh, may be problematic um, sometimes Insight Lite just doesn't behave nicely and so um, just remind you that there's another strategy and that's to use Excel to calculate um, those differences or percent change or any other thing first before importing. Um, so the difference is after minus before. Uh, percent change is after divided by before 
minus one and then I can copy those down again there's the the two percent that we've seen before um, so we're getting the same values and then I can come into Insight or Insight Lite probably just make sure I've saved that um, and let's go and pull in that data and it brings in those extra variables so I, um, you know if you're having any trouble in an in insight creating numerical variables remember there's always the mechanism to do that in Excel uh, before importing